Good day to everyone. I'm Rashmi Devi Sampat. Have a brief introduction about me is I've completed my MTech Biotechnology from Rajalakshmi Engineering College in 2014, and I'm going to submit my research proposal on immune targeted HIV therapy. So this is a part of my work. So for that, uh, to make it ex uh, simpler, so I drew entire pictures except the immune system, lymphatic system, and circulatory system. And to do something good for the society, I chosen the research path. And these many years, I have been working on deadly diseases. So let's get into the work. My topic is how HIV uses our own proteins and enzymes to produce millions of mutant virons, HIV virons, and how we can block it. So before I start into the actual mechanism of life cycle, let me explain about how immune systems works. In our body, so immune system plays a vital role, and it is a it's, it acts like a huge defense mechanism. With the help of lymphatic and circulatory system, it connects like a network of tissues and organs and cells. When our body needs antibodies, nutrients, and hormones, blood vessels will supply it. It's divided by four categories called plasmas, red blood cells, platelets, and white blood cells. We'll see more on white blood, white blood cells, which is also known as lympho, lymphocytes. So it has A granular sites and granular sites. We'll concentrate on A granular sites because the entire defense mechanism will take place here. Lymphocytes is divided by T lymphocytes and D lymphocytes, natural killer cells, which act like a defense wall at the time of antigen invasions. And monocyte have dendritic cells and macrophage. We all know HIV targets the host cell. Then the what is hope? host cell is. So host cell, my answer is macrophage. Why? Because macrophage has entire cell membrane starting from nucleus to cytoplasm and it also have a special component called phagolysosome. So what is phagolysosome you can ask me. Phagolysosome is nothing but fusion between the phagosome and lysosome at the time of antigen invaded into the macrophage and it, it acts like a wrecking ball and destroys the anti antigen and T helper cells will produce the antibodies will support press the antigen. Let's get into the actual mechanism. HIV virus have a peculiar sharing between us and HIV is called we all share the enzymes and proteins in a similar way. So the first step is fusion between the glycoprotein and cell membrane. So CD4 receptor and co-receptors are CCR5 and CXCR4 binds with GP120 and 41 and releases the viral core protein inside the cell membrane. So the second step goes to the reverse transcriptation, which means formation of viral DNA from viral mRNA. After forming the viral DNA, with the help of microfilament, it goes to the viral uh, nucleus. So in nucleus, actual crucial steps will take place, where the integration takes place, which is means ligating the viral DNA and human DNA to replicate viral mRNA. So after replicating the viral mRNA copies, it goes and binds with ribosome and rough endoplasmic reticulum to get all the proteins and enzymes com components and it becomes immature virus, HIV virus. With the help of protease, it forms into a mature virus and cleaves outside the macrophage. So the entire step is looks very complicated but it's very simple by blocking the G glycoprotein we can stop the entire work or we, when next step is by blocking the reverse transcription we can block stop the remaining work or the crucial step is integration so we block the integrase we can stop protease and if we stop the protease we can stop the entire uh, replication so blocking stages is one two three and four so that's it it looks very complicated but it's very simple thank you I thank Fame Lab and Rajlakshmi Engineering College for giving me the opportunity to express my research to public. So, thank you so much.